Hello, I am Pam and this is my channel made by Pam. So today is Friday, May 5th, 2023. So hashtag Friday Sews. Well, no sewing again. Like, so last week I said I didn't get any sewing done. I actually had sewn something that week just because I had to. It was like, uh, the bed broke and so I had to sew it up and I don't have that piece of fabric sitting right here anymore because I moved stuff. But I'll show you a picture off of my phone that I took after I fixed it. Oh, this is the bad part. See that denim right there? I had to put that. That That's like the part that when you fold up the bed, that's the section that shows on the couch. But as you unfold it, this is halfway folded up. So as you unfold it, it keeps it end of the bed where it needs to be because it has springs and stuff. And so when you unfold it, it keeps that edge up. Well... I had sewn that last week and I totally forgot until like after. <laughs> so that's, I haven't been sewing a lot. I just, I think about it, but I just don't do it. So I've been trying to work on the slippers and kind of at a standstill, okay. I, I have my whole project sitting here in this bag because I took it with me yesterday because I had to go help my niece. So, um, let's go over the week so far. So Monday, I decided to go out and do some yard, not necessarily yard work, but I was cleaning up like trash and um, cleaning up dog poop and doing all that stuff because Tuesday is garbage day and so I want to make sure that all that gets cleaned up before the garbage man comes on Tuesday. And then Tuesday I went back out because I hadn't cleaned off the porch yet. And I wanted to get all the leaves and all that off the porch and cleaned up. So I went out and I cleaned up more dog poop. Yeah, a never ending job. And I told my daughter and my bonus daughter that um, on Wednesdays and Fridays that it's their responsibility to clean up the dog poop. Yeah. So hopefully they follow through. My bonus daughter, she did it on Wednesday a little bit. Although I go around and I can see that some of it hasn't been done. Um, and hopefully my daughter will make sure she follows through and gets that done too. Yeah, here I am talking about dog poop. <laughs> and so I, I also like cleaned up sticker weeds and stuff out of the yard too. And out of the um, front strip by the mailbox, I cleaned up sticker weeds. The things are horrible. So I, I did that on Tuesday, most of the day. Wednesday, well, I took my kids to school. I take my kids to school every day, practically. Well, truly, I'm the only one here to take kids to school. But Wednesday... After I got the kids to school, I had to go and find out what to do about how to warranty out a product that I got because I got a warranty on it and it stopped working. So my cordless iron that I was using, it had stopped working. It, like you put it on the base and it just didn't heat it up or anything. It just was having real bad issues. And so I took it, took it with me to see if 
um, how, how to warranty that out. And they're like, well, it's been over so many days, you're actually going to have to um, call the warranty company. So I did that. I tried to do it online, and online it didn't work. And so I actually called them, and they was able to help. So hopefully I get my gift card e-certificate. So it's like a e-gift card that they send you, so they send you a little code and stuff you can use when you go to the store. I need to check because I want to use that up, like, quick before it would decide to expire. So I don't know if that's in my email yet, but it might be. It takes a couple days to process everything. So Wednesday I did that. And, um, cause I had to go out to the actual, like, store that I got it from. And that's, um, in Layton. I live in Ogden. Um, so I drove the 15 minutes to <laughs> get out there. So while I was out there, I did stop by an NPS. It's like a, I really don't know. I'll say, but it's just like a, it's not a thrift store, but some, because they have groceries and it's not stuff thrifted. It's more like, I think some of the stuff is like Amazon pallet sales type thing and different kind of stuff. Um, but some of the stuff is discounted. So I saw a big, huge roll of fabric. I really liked it. It was fuzzy on one side and smooth on the other, and it was like gray. Um, I really liked it. And I could have gotten the whole entire 28 yard roll, and it had a little bit of stretch to it too. I could have gotten the whole entire roll for like $35. And I was like, no, I really don't need... 28 yards of this Pacific fabric. But if I was to do it, because it is $35, I would do the whole entire roll. J just because I could. But I, I was good and I didn't buy it. I, I did buy a couple other things, so Like, I did get this, um, it's a, like, little O-ring link, um, things that I got. It was like three fifty for this bag and it has it said it has fifteen hundred so a thousand five hundred. It's a mixed um six sizes open jump ring type thing. So I did get that and then I got an embroidery software um disc. I haven't tried it yet which I really should. It might be too childish. But a cute little, it's an educator favorite collection, but it says sewing and quilting, Florani embroidery, and I got this for two dollars, so I figured that would be something I can try just because, you know, I'd pay three dollars, I'd pay two dollars for an actual embroidery design, and this has a bunch of different designs on it, so I'll give that a try. All right. <laughs> So while I was out there, I also went thrifting. Just because I was right there and it was Wednesday and yeah, go figure. But, so I've been working on the slipper and I was working on it. Seriously, I had more done of this. I did, I did. So this is a slipper with the two soles joined together, and it would be quite comfortable. Seriously, it would be great. Um, so I joined it together, and I had like my rows, because it calls for like the three rows. And it went up way high, and I'm like, that's like way too high. Like this, how it is there. It's just perfect. But 
when I did it around this, it went up way too high. There was so much space in the toe section that I was like, um, that's just not quite right. And I had attached this, you know, where it was supposed to be attached, but it just wasn't looking right. And I didn't like the spacing that I was like, um, I'm going to have to rethink that. And so I undid all the row around. I left it conjoined together, but I took off everything else. Because I was looking at the instructions, okay? And it kind of confused me a little bit. So it's talking about, like you put the two soles together, you hold B inside, sole towards you. So this is an inside and you hold it towards you, okay? Well, it says work single crochet in each double crochet of heel, single crochet around edge of each double crochet, single stitch in first single crochet. So I did the, well, slip stitch. So I did the slip stitch and I got it all joined together. That's like it calls for. Then it says um, round two, chain two, half double crochet in each front loop of each single crochet round, join each round. Okay, so I did that, but the thing is, am I supposed to flip it like this and like um, work it going this way so that you have the um, bottom part of the sole towards you when you're working it? I don't remember. Because when I was working with Kim, um, I don't remember if we had it turned inside out. I guess I need to look at the video and see. <laughs> but it looked like the edges were like splaying outwards and not going inwards. And it, it just didn't look right. And so I might not be able to use this yarn for this. And then my daughter would be sad. <laughs> and I know it really doesn't go with it, but she really liked it. And this is the one that she chose. And so I was like, well, I could use that. <laughs> you know, in my unconventional ways, instead of using like regular yarn, I'm trying to use this big fluffy stuff to make it like cozy little slippers. It, yeah. All right. Well, I'll get that figured out. Um, I don't have the other sole piece put together yet. Only because um, I didn't have the other end of this out. And then last night I pulled it out. And so I have that other end. So I might, well, because I was trying to put on the piece, the toe piece that goes on the top. And I might actually have to change these toe pieces to these pieces just because it would look better. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm just, I'm a scatterbrained mess. So some of the fabrics that I got yesterday, well, I mean, Wednesday. So first, before I get into the fabric, I want to show you the little doggy, the little Dalmatian doggy that me and my son made. So this is a little doggy that we made. Um, I should probably like actually use like a line of paint and paint that a little bit. But he likes to come down and he likes to play with the ears and stuff. And I'm like, you can't like play with the ears. You might detach them because I had to glue this one back on because he detached it. And then, well, actually, I think it wasn't very strong on there anyways. And then um, the tail fell off and the head wasn't attached. <laughs> because I guess when we did it, we just didn't attach it well enough that the little doggy fell apart. So I had to use some glue. 
So I used some mixed media adhesive to Aileen's original um, glue and glued it back together. So I like to have it just sitting here looking at me. Like right here on my computer keyboard right here. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. But I usually have it just sitting right up here. Yeah. Sorry if that made you sick. Uh, sorry about that. Not really. It didn't do anything to me. Um, <laughs> so I did get some fabrics. Like this one. My daughter picked this out. She really liked it. She picked out some other ones too. And then I was like, no, I'm not interested in those. And I put those back. But um, we got a... Um, it's a butterfly. And... I look at it and I keep thinking that this one just needs to be like a night shirt or something. Just like a shirt that you wear to bed. Um, it would be cute as Pamerol's. I would have to layer it so I would have to have a layer of fabric in there because it is um, kind of thin. But I was thinking that this would be best just as like a little shirt. I keep thinking about like a nightgown type night shirt. And then I picked up this fabric from Goodwill. Because I could. And then I did pick up another fabric. It's kind of like the dots that you would use on like the bottoms of pajamas and stuff. Because it has that um, layer of like the non-slip. So... I um, picked it up. It's like white and it has like that non-slip texture. But it's not the little dots. And so I thought that was really cool. So I was like, you know what? I need something like that. Granted, it was five bucks. Okay. But there's quite a bit here. So um, it was worth it to me. And I took my kids to the book fair yesterday. So they got each got a book. Well, got two books. Okay, and my son, my 13-year-old, I actually ended up getting him three. Because my 10-year-old wasn't going to get a, another item for a minute. But then he changed his mind. He's like, Mom, I didn't get my second item yet. And so he went and got his second item because I told him each they could get two. Well, I was just going to use this as, like, the second item so that... You know, we didn't have to get a whole nother book. So, he got his other thing. Which he's having fun with. And so I told my uh, my 13 year old that he could get a third book. Because the one that he wanted. Because he said he's found three books that he liked. And so, I let him get that third book. Because I wanted to get this. Well, fortune teller's book. Because my kids like to play with this stuff. Um, but it has a bunch of the different pages and stuff in it. That you can fold up. And just fun little stuff. And it teaches you how to fold them. So yeah, I thought that might be fun to do one of these days. You know, you never know. All right, so that's about all. I did get a bunch of yarn and stuff, but I'm not going to go into that. And um, I did get some books but from the thrift store. But I'm trying to get the slippers done, and I'm still working on mine. Like, I did, like, trace out the foot. See? My feet. My feet. <laughs> and my slippers are still, like, not even done yet. They're still, like, in the process. See, I'm still in the process. I haven't even finished yet. Because I took it all apart and started over. Alright, well, I have talked long enough. It's been 20 minutes. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you for letting me ramble on and just talk about nothing. Have a wonderful day. Till next time. Bye.